A Utah father and son are using their free time wisely during this COVID-19 pandemic. Our tech reporter Jordan Hogan joins us live this morning with a look at what they're creating on 3D printers. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, John. Yes, so uh, Cody and Gerald, they're both dentists and they're making 3D printed face masks. They're primarily for their staff, but there is a chance they could also help others amid this pandemic. As personal protective equipment supplies start to run low, more people are coming up with creative ways to fill the gap. Dr. Cody Bozeman and his father are making use of their 3D printers. They'd usually use them to make dental molds, but seeing as they can only do emergency work right now, they're using the 3D printers to make face masks instead. The cool thing about these masks is they are reusable. You can sterilize them and you can change out the filters. Cody says he got the idea from a couple of people who were doing something similar online and he settled on a design from a brain surgeon in Montana. We probably have 10 to 12 masks. Uh, it is pretty time consuming. It takes, with my 3D printer, it takes about four hours to do one. Cody's father, Dr. Gerald Bozeman, works at the University of Utah in the dentistry school. The 3D printer that Gerald is using can make two masks in the same time it takes Cody's to print one. As Cody uh, got involved in printing the 3D masks, we decided that we would use both printers to print the masks and, and the students as we uh, do this, they'll be able to see us 3D printing things that are useful as well as useful dental items. Once the masks are printed, the process doesn't stop there. We're using a 3D printable resin and that gets cured and hardened. They need to sit in an alcohol bath for 10 minutes and then be cured in a light box to stop them from being sticky. Then they file off the rough patches before adding a filter. Cody says the HEPA filters he uses filter out 99.97% of viruses, allergens, and bacteria. The next step is customizing each mask to the person that will be wearing it. To customize the masks, we use some dental materials um, to seal up right around our face uh, to close the gaps because obviously everybody's face is a little bit different and to get pure filtration you need to have a good seal. Cody says the materials used to make each one comes out to about five to six dollars per mask. For now the father and son duo are focused on getting reusable masks for their staff but they're not ruling out helping those in need. Once I have it figured out as to how we could customize it for the masses I'm going to start donating them away to whoever needs them. So Cody says he has reached out to the company that makes the 3D printing resin uh, to see if they can help him out and uh, bring some uh, donations in there to take off the cost because it does cost about $250 for one bottle. He's not through that whole bottle yet with 12 masks or so, but that could run out fast. So hopefully they do help out, John. And it's good to see that reusable aspect of those. They're not throwaways, so this could uh, go a lot further now with the shortage of masks that we've seen uh, in the medical field.